So, hey, welcome back to KNK Visual Productions. I'm Karthik, your host. And today in this video, I'm, I'm going to explain you how to use my latest render add on called the F curve wizard. Uh, from the word itself, you can know that it's, it's kind of a magical add on, which, which actually, uh, you know, uh, make your graph editing way more easier and it will save you a lot of time. And yeah. So first of all, let me just install the add-on. So when you uh, purchase the add-on, you get it as a zip file. So install it as the usual blender add-on. So let's install it and install add-on. And then just enable the add-on. And once you are enabled, what you need to do is uh, inside the graph editor, you can see the add-on called wizard. It's been enabled here. So uh, after installed your add-on, uh, you can see the add-on. Uh, we can see the add-on in the end tab of your graph editor called the wizard. For this uh, explanation, I'm going to use this simple animation. It's a uh, furniture forming animation. And if you want to know how I did this, I already made a time-lapse video and an explanation video on this, uh, this type of animation. And the video has been uploaded in my YouTube channel. So you can just go and watch it if you want. So let's come to the point here. Uh, let's use this animation. So this is just a simple animation I did. Which which actually done with the help of graph editor. So in this case, if you can see, I have this F curve. And like this, you can see there's a lot of F curves. And it's, it's kind of, you know, uh, cluttered and congested. So, for example, if I want to adjust this uh, Z location, what I usually do is I just zoom in and try to uh, select this, try to move it here and there. I mean, this is good, but you know, uh, what if 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 I wanted to just disable the rest of the F curve? But you know, I can actually manually disable one by one, but that takes again a few seconds and few minutes so for that i got this add-on here which is the wizard so what uh, we can do is inside the add-on you can see there is an option called filter visibility by category you can like filter it by each option like location rotation scale bones shape keys and even custom properties like modifiers so for example if i want to like filter it by like uh, location I can just click on location and re like rest of all the F curves are disabled and I will get just the uh, location and if I want the ro uh, rotation I can just select the rotation and uh, like rest of everything will be disabled that means location and scale will be disabled and likewise if I want the scale the, the scale will be uh, visible and rest of them will be disabled now, for example, if I want to enable just the Z location, just the Z location. So what I will do is just the Z location to be visible. I can just click on solo. So that makes rest everything disabled except the selected F curve. Now, here we can see uh, the need to like go and search for like, for example, if your F curve is hidden, like somewhere like this then you will have to manually go and search for the F curve, right? But with my add-on, uh, we have this option called focus. If you click on focus, boom, we get the F curve back on its place, something like this. So if your F curve is lost, something like this, I'm sorry, then you can just click on focus and your F curve will be like, you know, we will just get snap. Okay, once again. I'll, I'll show, show you. Just click on Z location. So, like, let let's let's go for something else like uh, Z scale. Just click on Z scale. Click A to uh, select everything, and click Z scale and click on focus. And just the Z scale will be focused in our timeline, and rest of the uh, F curves are disabled. So we can just purely focus on just one single F curve that you have selected and it just saves you a lot of time and effort. Then we have like, uh, we have this option called show all which, which just enables everything and you can hide all 
and we can invert the visibility. So, so for example, if I have this scale and then I can just click on invert. So rest of every F curve will be enabled except the Z scale. That means except the selected F curve. Then we have the toggle mute and invert all mute and that's it. Now comes the next part that is uh, we have this option called channel states save and load. So what it does is for example if I have this uh, something like let me just select uh, Z location, Z uh, rotation and Z scale and let's solo it out. Then what I can do is I can just save it as a name. Let's save it as uh, explanation. Okay, like uh, you can just name it any name you want. It doesn't matter here. Just click OK. Then uh, we can just show all and do whatever we want. And then if you want that same uh, preset, uh, that means that that exact Z location, Z rotation, and Z scale uh, visible in our timeline, then what you can do is just click on load and click on our saved uh, preset that is explanation click on explanation and hit ok and that saved preset will be loaded into your graph editing timeline then comes the next option that is adding the ex uh, extrapolation so for example if if you can see i have the i I can just click on Z scale and, and if I click on extrapolation, what it does is it gives me option called constant or linear. I can just click on linear and that and that graph will be uh, become linear, something like that. Then comes the option called add uh, modifiers. So, you know, uh, you have this option called modifier here, but still uh, like, like uh, I just added this option inside my add-on so that uh, you don't need to go outside the add-on to add modifiers so you can click on add modifier you can set any modifier you want so so for example i click on noise and if i click ok i get this noise and if i want to remove the modifier i can just click on remove and click on what type of modifier i need to remove so i will click noise and hit ok and that's it it's available right now it's available on rental market link is in my description so that's it guys i hope this video was helpful and i hope you love this add-on uh just believe me guys this add-on is going to save you a lot of time this looks simple but this is really really powerful add-on okay so once again you're watching k and k visual productions i'm karthik and i'm signing off see you in the next video until then take care